Hello everyone, back to you today's first video. We're doing JMA Friday for today's first video. So, as always, on a Friday, we've got your month head look head with the Japanese and CFSB 2 models. We're going to take us into the second half of February. So, we shall see what the JMA and CFS are forecasting as we approach the latter stages of winter 2019-2020. We haven't had any winter, really, to speak of so far, but uh, we're running down the clock now on the 30-day updates, getting not to the end of winter yet, um, but getting towards the final stages of it. So will there be any signs of a late winter cold snap? You'll find out in a moment. I uh, just say that the second video coming up later on this afternoon will be having a look at whether next weekday days that will include all of the regular features. Loads of updates coming up over the weekend, by the way. More about that in a moment. So we're going to begin, though, uh, with the JMA 500 millibar height anomalies from the Arctic and North Pole view down. Uh, broken down to week period. So the first week period is going to take us from the 24th through to the 31st of January. Blue is extrapolating to below average heights, which is low pressure. Yellow, orange and red extrapolate to above average heights, which is high pressure. So in the uh, week here, we've got the below average height sitting to the north of the country. Low pressure is dominating weather in, uh, in the week ahead. We have got some above average heights across southern and eastern parts of Europe. And there's quite a big ridge over towards the Atlantic side of Canada. But otherwise, it's low pressure dominating, quite a strong jet stream and westerly flow coming across the Atlantic. So looking pretty unsettled, you have to say. In uh, the week, had plenty of uh, rain driving in from off the Atlantic. Could it be a little bit stormy, maybe, in the coming week? A bit of a change for week two. This one goes from the 31st of January to the 7th of February. We find that above average heights then are building up from the south. So an area of high pressure is becoming centred over France. Low pressure is out to the north and the west of the country. Uh, dragging up very mild southwesterly winds potentially with this. This could really be pumping up the air from quite a long way south in the Atlantic, bringing the air up from kind of like Canary Islands or Azores, somewhere like that. So potentially the first week of February turns, yes, much drier with high pressure building up from the south, but also a lot milder, maybe even, dare I say, a taste of spring through the first week of February. It could be very mild there. Uh, Memoring to week three and four takes us from the 7th of three to the 21st of February and no real changes really. Low pressure remaining out to the northwest around Greenland and Iceland. High pressure covering much of central, western and southwestern Europe. The jet stream doing something a bit like that. So again it implies reasonably dry conditions especially so for more southern and eastern parts of the country and still you would think very mild. Um, um, most unsettled up to the north and west, but definitely mild February signals here, I think, with the JMA model today. The tropical and mid-latitude view looks like this. So we can't see the Arctic and North Pole on this view on Scandinavia, but of course we just had, had a look at that view down. That's off the chart up here. The British Isles is in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it. So a reminder of the week one, 500 millibar height and only with the JMA, taking us from the 24th to the 31st of January. It's unsettled, low pressure is dominating, driving in with Wesley's and with the jet stream from off the Atlantic. Temperature anomalies in weekend forecast to be mild of an average in most parts of the UK. It's a bit cold average just out to our west, northwest, but most places forecast to have a milder than average week here. And also wet and average, which of course you'd expect with low pressure driving in profit land, you'd expect it to be quite wet, and so the precipitation anomaly is quite significantly above average yet again in the week ahead. How often have we said that over the past few weeks and months? Bit of a change for week two, from the 31st of January to the 7th of February, high pressure then begins to take over from the south, so we have this ridge building up 
from the south covering much of central and western southwest Europe. Low pressure is out to the northwest and uh, the jet stream is pushing up as we could be bringing up some very mild air from the south or southwest. In fact, look at this temperature anomaly that the GMA is forecasting for the first week of February. Very, very substantially above average. It's quite unusual on these charts to see us go into those orange colours, but that's where we're going for England and Wales in particular. Talking about anomalies around 3 to 4 degrees above average. That's an exceptionally mild spring-like start to February being forecast this week with the JMA for the first week of February. Although high pressure is building from the south, it is still a little bit wet and average. I'm a bit dubious about that. I would have thought it's likely to be uh, rather drier than that, especially so for England and Wales. I'll be surprised if it's as wet as that through the first week of February if that bridge um, builds up from the south and centres itself over three France as the JMA is showing there. And then we go through to week three and four. It goes from the 7th through to the 21st of February. So into the second half of the month. And seemingly no real change above average heights remains um, across western and southwestern parts of Europe and also central parts of Europe too. Low pressure is out to the northwest. Jet stream is going in that sort of direction. Temperature anomaly is not quite as mild for weeks three and four. Then again, it is a two weekly anomaly, so you don't expect the uh, anomaly overall to be weaker. But um, to be honest, it's still looking mild and average, one to two degrees above average. It's quite a significant uh, anomaly for um, for a two weekly anomaly. So very mild conditions persist through to the middle of February. Still a bit on the unsettled side, so never really truly settling down for us. But again, I'm a little bit dubious because with so much high pressure sitting to our south, I would have thought, particularly England and Wales, it's like to have a rather drier February than this suggests. But it, on its own terms, it does suggest quite an unsettled February. But the main talking point would be a very, even exceptionally mild February to round off this very an exceptionally mild winter. And of course, if February does turn out to be exceptionally mild then we will have to start thinking about our all-time uh mildest winters on record and whether we might beat them long way to go before we get to that though of course right that's how jma was looking how does the cfs compare so again these are 500 millibar heights and they're broken down into weekly peers the first weekly peer will take us from the 24th to the 30th of january the coming week with low pressure uh, out to the north and the west of the country and driving winds from off the Atlantic. So it looks unsettled in the week ahead. Um, further bouts of rain moving in from off the Atlantic Ocean. There is a ridge across southern and southeast parts of Europe, but that doesn't really do much for us. That's a ridge that we've been under over the past few days. But it's collapsing to the east of the southeast of Europe. We're under low pressure, so unsettled for the last week of January. And then this goes on into week two, which is the 31st of January to the 6th of February. Again, below average heights out to the north and west, above average heights down to our south and southwest. So it's all still driving in off the Atlantic Ocean. So unsettled, yes, bouts of rain through the first week of February. But on the other hand, at least it would be mild. Week 3 is the 7th to the 13th of February. Again, low pressures in control. This time below, oh, the centre of the depression is just a little bit more to our north northeast. So it probably implies something a little bit cooler perhaps coming in from the northwest. I mean, still probably relatively mild overall, but maybe just lining up the jet stream of the wind direction, sort of northwest to southeast a little bit, may allow something a bit cooler to take place then. Then finally, week four is the 14th to the 20th of February. This, this winter goes on um, with the westerlies. Uh, low pressure again continuing to be to our north. We're still feeding in the westerly jet stream. And the winds from off the Atlantic Ocean, no change there. Low pressure continues to keep it unsettled, but also on the mild side. Temperature anomalies in the week ahead from the 24th, the, from, from the 24th to the 30th of January. Milder than average. Look how mild it is across most parts of Eurasia as well. Week 2 temperature anomalies from the 31st January to 6th of February. Above average as it is across many parts of Eurasia too. 
Week 3 temperature anomalies from the 7th to 13th of February. Also above average, exceptionally warm across much of Eurasia. Most of America also looking exceptionally warm. And then week 4 is before tick to 20th of February. No change. Above average temperatures go on and on and on and on and on. No sign of anything particularly cool or well so no sign of anything cold and even no sign of anything cool coming up there it's just continuously warmer than average what a exceptional winter this is turning into and then precipitation anomalies from the 24th of january to the 30th above average it's for the wet and average week coming up that goes on into week two as well which also looks wet and average from the 31st of january 6th of february substantially so Week three, singles weakening a bit, but uh, this is the seventh, whoops, this is the seventh through to the 13th of February. And it's a little bit wetter than average. And then week four is the 14th to 20th of February, and that also hints at being wetter than average. This winter of doom, uh, winter of doom just goes on and on and on with Wesley's not letting up, not giving up on us. So it remains um, mild, significantly mild than average throughout the whole period. Remains wetter than average, just no change. The same pattern that we've been in throughout the whole of the winter, we continue with if this is right towards the final stages of February, which is very, very unusual. It's very unusual to have the same pattern at the end of the winter, but you begin the winter with. Sometimes it does happen, though, and um, similarly, this is turning into one of those winters. So an exceptionally mild, but also very very wet February could be on the way if JMA Friday is right but remember it's just a snapshot of what these models are showing um could all look very different next week that's how they're looking today though indicating an exceptionally mild February and also quite a wet February as well we'll be back later on with your week 10 day video update so come back for that then but that's all for now and thanks for watching